Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're doing another Swiss Battle for Zendikar draft. Okay, I guess I'm looking at Sky Spawner here. This card is pretty awesome. Good first pick. It's also Snapping Gnarlid and Scythe Leopard. Uh, but I love Sky Spawner, really versatile card, and you get multiple bodies. Very good. Gruesome Slaughter, the rare. Mm, okay card. Really kind of difficult to build around, I guess. You have to have quite a bit of colorless creatures to really take advantage of it. And it's expensive. Uh, also, Hedron Archive in here, which is, uh, you know, colorless, so that's a good place to start. But I think Sky is just really good, so we'll first pick that. Ooh, I actually like the Overseer. I know you pay six mana for a 3-4, but um, I like it with token-y sort of builds. Um, what else is in here, though? I mean, in blue, we could just take an Incubator Drone. Um, like I said, though, I actually just like the Overseer. I think this card's actually pretty strong. Despite the fact that you're paying 6 mana for a 3-4. But it is flying. I'm kind of fine taking it here. I like the Incubator Drone quite a bit, but... If I can make some sort of token build work with this, this card is super strong, I think. I think... Okay, so Mist Intruder, which I don't love. I don't know. I don't really like the uh, the process plan all that much. I've been a little bit underwhelmed by it. There is Blighted Fen, which is probably okay. Rune Processor. I uh, might just want the Tightening Coils. I could see that card being pretty good, especially since we already have a couple flyers. There's also Bone Splinters. Um, I feel like Bone Splinters tends to go later than Tightening Coils, though. And you don't have to sack a creature, which is definitely good. I mean, minus six, minus zero takes care of most things in this format. Um, I think I'm going to go Tightening Coils here. Like I said, I could take the Mist Intruder, I guess. Start feeding process. I just don't like this card that much. Two mana, one power flyer. I mean, I'd rather just go for better things, I guess. Uh, all right, Clutch, Dampening Pulse, both of which are very good. Cloud Manta works well alongside the Tightening Coils again, but and a Colossary Night Watch. I think we're just taking Clutch here. Bounce plus Awaken. I think Dampening Pulse, though, I want to play this card one of these times, but we'll see. If we ever can get around to it. Okay. So now there's Dominator Drone. Which seems okay. Works well with the Void. But we only have... Well, we have a couple ways to get colorless creatures. Myers Malice. Probably just want the Nullifier. Granted, it requires processing to counter. But it's still a 4-mana 2-3 flyer. Which I think is fine too. Slightly more exciting than the Coral Helm Guide. Although definitely more color committal. But that's okay. Painful Truths. Uh, so if I were to play two color, I could draw two and lose two life. Well, it's actually not that horrible. There's also Spell Shrivel. I think we'll take Painful Truths. Try it out. There's a chance we play a splash of third color, maybe, if I find Evolving Wilds. Um... Guess we can take Bone Splinters here. Actually, Blighted Cataract's pretty good too. Utility Land. We don't have a ton of token producers at the moment. Bone Splinters might be difficult to play. But I guess Overseer gets a lot worse too if I don't have a ton of token producers. Um, I'm going to take the Cataract. I think this card's really good. Good Utility Land. And I think Bone Splinters tends to go a bit later. That's a late carrier thrall. That, that's actually that would have worked well with the Bone Splinters, but this card is actually just really good in general. So pretty easy pick up there. Uh, wow, Tabled Side Leopard. That's surprising. I think we're gonna take the Cruiser, Hill Giants. Fine. And don't really need the Gruesome Slaughter. I don't think. Uh, I'll take the Grave Birthing. Seems playable to me. Gives us a token and feeds 
processing, but Ulamog's Nullifier is a pretty tough one to process for. Alright, I guess we'll take Mortuary Mire. Not that good of a utility land, but take it. Uh, Boiling Earth could be good against us. Possibly better than Inspired Charge. And Boiling Earth's actually something you can splash. Uh, you know, if you get in like an Evolving Wilds, leave it in your sideboard. Something you can consider. I think it's really good in, against some decks. We're going to take Myers Malice here. There's a chance we play it. Well, got another one. Sure. I don't think we're playing two, though. Don't really like the Stalker that much. I would prefer to not play it. I think it's not... Just five mana for two toughness. Not good enough, I think, for the most part. But we'll leave it in in case I have to. Okay, Ally Encampment. Ooh, Turn Against is good. Despoiler. I don't really love Despoiler, but it's a big threat. Uh, Silent Skimmer is pretty awesome. I might just want that. Another Flyer. Flyer plus Blocker. It's also Rush of Ice and Tightening Coils. Which are worthy of considering. I think we're just slamming Silent Skimmer. I, think, I like this card. I've played against it a few times and I've been pretty impressed. So we'll take it. Um, hmm. It's kind of a miss. I guess we take Night Watch. Certainly better than Stalker. Don't have any life gain, but. Just a 5-mana 4-5 body might be good enough. Sifter's really strong, but I think we're, at this point, we're pretty well committed to our two-color plan, I think. But I don't want to splash for Sifter, I don't think. I don't have any fixing yet. I could find some, but I don't want to bank on it. I'm just going to take the card that I can play. Conduit of Ruin, 6-mana 5-5. Five, five. Search your library for a colorless creature, 7 or greater, which we don't have. First creature spell you cast each turn costs two less. That's not bad, actually. That's actually not bad. Uh, otherwise, Culling Drone is a cheap ingester. Also, just a cheap spell. We do have, I guess, a couple process cards. Uh, Cruiser and the Nullifier. Um... Kind of want to try out this Conduit of Ruin. I just feel like the fact that it makes your guys cheaper is pretty nice, actually. Kind of works well with Nullifier, too. On your opponent's turn, you can just play a blue and a black for a 2-3. I don't know. There's a chance I end up with a 7 or mana or greater guy, too. I feel like this card's good. Possible card advantage, plus make your guys cheaper, and it's a good body. I think we're going to take it. Reclaimer is awesome. Rolling Thunder? What the? Can I even switch out of a color at this point? I don't think so. I've got five blue spells. Switching to red, black. I don't like it that much. Reclaimer is just good. And we don't have a ton of processing, but if you can process for it, it's pretty awesome. Basically, you just need to find some removal that... Let's us process. Rolling Thunder is just insane, but I can't splash for it. And Reclaimer is good, so we'll take it. Serpentine Spike, too. Jeez, red seems to be open. Zulaport Cutthroat is pretty good, uh, as is Incubator Drone. Cloud Man is not that great, and Rush of Ice isn't that great. I think we're going to take this Cutthroat, actually. I like this card, and it's cheap. And it does reward you for having your guys die, pretty much. Incubator Drone is good. I still think I'd, I prefer Cutthroat. It's a nice, cheap thing to do, too. Okay, I can take Spell Shrivel. It's a fine counter spell, and it feeds processing. And otherwise, it'd be like Blighted Fen or something. And Spell Shrivel is going to work well with our instant speed spells, which I guess is just like Nullifier, but whatever. Take it. Uh, I don't love Merc Strider, but probably more exciting than Voracious Null. Could just take the Cascade. I feel like we're we're going to end up with enough playables. And I don't really have enough processing to make Merc Strider work. I have a Grave Birthing, a Spell Shrivel. And that's it. I think we're probably just taking Cascade. It's a good way to keep guys tapped down.
All right, I'll take a second Grave Birthing. I really don't love the card. Could take the, de the Devastator here for the Conduit. Yeah, I could. It's not great, though. It's pretty expensive. It is an 8-9 Trample, which I guess is a big body, but I think I'd rather just take another Grave Birthing and get some more processing on. Like, I like this more than Miss Intruder, straight up. I'd rather just get a ramp spell, draw a card, and process. Although, playing them in multiples, probably a bit sketchy. Uh, none of these cards are really good. I guess we'll hate the Recruit. I'm just not going to play a Voracious Null, I don't think. Take the Blighted Gorge. Seems like the best card. Um... All right, we'll hate the Invoker. Could be a good finisher. Alter's Reap seems fine, especially with double Grave Birthing. Could get some card advantage going. So, a little bit creature light at the moment, but I guess Myers Malice and Clutch of Currents count as creatures. Removal a little bit light too, I guess. Tightening Coils. Clutch of Currents. Is that it? Spell Shrivel, Sword of Removal. Alright, I guess if we can find a better 7 drop plus than uh, Devastator, I'll be happy. I'd rather play a 7 drop than an 8 drop, for sure. Although... If Conduit searches up Devastator, it's only 6 mana. So, if you can play Conduit, you, you'd be able to play your 8 drop. But that doesn't help when you don't have Conduit and you have Devastator in your hand. 8 mana is not easy to get to, even when you have a few ramp spells like we do. So, I guess I just need to lower my curve slightly. I feel like we're already kind of good on our late game plan. And I'm only playing two Grave Birthing if I have to. Blight Herder is a really good open. Five mana, four, five with potential for processing. Also, complete disregard in here. Jeez, I'd like it, but it's just not going to happen. I think we got to take the big body. Five mana, four, five colorless card is really good. Hopefully Table, Culling Drone, or Complete Disregard. I don't want to play Skitter Skin. And I guess Retreat to Hagra is okay. It's not great, though. It's okay. Second Nullifier, Cutthroat, Sky Spawner, all sorts of options here. I think there's a chance that we Table Nullifier. I could take a second Cutthroat, too. I'm a little bit Creature Light, though, which makes that difficult, but... In multiples, I could see this card being really good. I kind of feel like I need this Sky Spawner. Just because you get multiple bodies. And you get to ramp. And you get an evasive guy. Cutthroat seems... I mean, it is an ally, so it probably works well with ally decks. But it is just a good card because it's cheap. I think we're taking Sky Spawner. Hope to wheel Cutthroat or Nullifier. More likely Nullifier because it's two color. It's also Sludge Crawler we could wheel for ingestion. I like Sludge Crawler more than Miss Intruder, too. Even though it doesn't evade, the pump on it is relevant. We'll take Sky Spawner, though. Dust Stalker. All right. Uh, I could take Dominator Drone here. I think that's actually just fine. It's also a Vampiric Rites, I guess, which is fine. But we'll, we'll take the Drone. I don't love it, but it's got ingest, I guess. And chance to make her opponent lose some life. First cut is likely going to be one of our grave birthings, I guess. Hmm. All right, another shot at Devastator, but we could still wheel it. Could take a second spell shrivel. Horribly awry, though. It's probably okay. I need to I need some more like early interaction. I think horribly awry can can be okay. I mean I think spell shrivel's better. 
I do think Spell Shrivel is better. Do I want to play Spell Shrivel in multiples? I could. I don't think Horribly Arise is great. It's just less versatile. But do I really want to play Spell Shrivel in multiples? Maybe. I might want to. I just don't think Horribly Arise is great. I'm, I'm going to take a second Spell Shrivel. I think it's better. Okay, we can take the Bone Splinters here. We can also take the Rune Processor now. So I guess we're a little bit removal light, which makes me want to take the Bone Splinters. I don't need Rune Processor to make Conduit of Rune good. I mean, it's cool because you search it up and you possibly gain some life, but we're kind of finisher good at the moment. And Bone Splinters, I think, is going to be something we're interested in. I think I'm cutting one of my Grave Birthings. Take the Bone Splinters. Hedron Archive, Mind Raker. I think we'll take the Archive here. We don't have a, problem is we don't have a ton of use for it. It's okay with Awaken, but maybe I just want to anticipate, actually. I think we need to find some, like, Archive's good, but what are we ramping into? A six drop that we'll be able to play because we're running 18 lands anyway. I don't know if I'm going to play Painful Truths. Just not going to play three color and three mana, draw two, lose two life. I'd rather just probably play Alter's Reap, I think. But we'll, we'll take the Anticipate. Get some more early spells to play. Uh, I guess we'll take the Assassin. I don't think it's something this deck wants, though. Could hate something instead. Maybe like Sure Strike is... I'm just not going to play the Assassin, so I don't see why I'd want to take it. All right, got a rune processor anyway. We're going to take it, and I think we will play it. We probably have enough ways to process. Five life is huge, and finding it off a conduit of rune is is presumably worth it. Um, maybe we cut, like, a cryptic cruiser, or... I guess I should probably keep my ingest creature. Even though it's not great, but cryptic cruiser is not great either. I just don't have enough ways to process to it, it's basically a hill giant in our deck i think so we'll take the we'll take the processor we'll figure out cuts in a bit all right culling drone is is actually something this deck wants since we're looking for more early plays and it does have ingest and it can trade early so yeah all right let's just cut the cryptic cruiser maybe even cut the night watch just because we've got enough finishers I could see that. Maybe we, we cut the Night Watch, cut some of our late game. Maybe Myers Malice actually can get the boot now that I think about it. Myers Malice isn't that great. Demon's Grasp. Something I can consider. We're a little bit removal light, so I, I could see that being of some use. I guess we'll take it. We'll figure out cuts from there. Vampiric Rites. Maybe. I don't think we're likely to play it, but I'll take it. Another Demon's Grasp. Yeah, I mean, take it. Okay, well, ended up with a deck. I don't know how insane it is yet, but... Got to make a couple cuts. Hmm. So what are the weakest cards we've got here? Couple guys that require quite a bit of processing, but these cards are fine without processing. All of our cards that process are fine without processing. Maybe the exception of Reclaimer. But Reclaimer is kind of the one of the more important ones to actually process with, in my opinion. Since the two card ones just consider them basically a flash blocker that works well with our spell shrivels because of versatility. It's either a flash in a dude and block or counter spell, which I think is good. And Reclaimer is just a nuts one for like bringing back clutch or... Are we going to play double Demon's Grasp? Demon's Grasp is not fantastic in this format. I probably don't want to play it in multiples.
Overseer admittedly is not amazing in our deck. But does it pump itself with landfall at least? Nope. Well, I guess it works well with Sky Spawner. Grave Birthing's kind of a creature. I might just cut Alter's Reap. Rather run Anticipate, I think. Because I already have a sack effect anyway. So Alter's Reap. Okay, let's cut the Alter's Reap. I think because we have so much late game, we're not going to need card draw as much. And Anticipate helps us find more of our early game. So then just one more cut. I might, I might cut a Demon's Grasp. Hmm. Yeah. I could see that. I don't want to run 17 lands, I don't think. Do you think 18 lands probably is better? How good's Cutthroat in here? It's not insane. It's just a good card in general, though. Is It just buys you time with chump blocks, which I like. But it's not insane in this deck. It's much better in a black-white ally deck. It has, like, some synergies with Nightwatch, but only if a guy dies on, like, my turn. Although, I guess if a guy dies on opponent's turn, I can just give that thing flying. How many ingestors do I have? I have Culling Drone, Dominator Drone. So that's a couple ways to process. Spell Shrivels, Grave Birthing. Hmm. Interesting. Don't want to cut a creature. I think we do cut probably a Demon's Grasp. I'm still left with a Bone Splinters, a Tightening Coils, Double Spell, Shrivel Clutch, and a Demon's Grasp. So I probably have enough removal. And I think the processing of Grave Birthing is important enough in this deck where I probably leave it. Like I said, I think Grave Birthing is a better card than Mist Intruder most of the time. Granted, Mist Intruder feeds your processing nicely, but I don't like playing kind of subpar cards just to feed a process plan. And you can argue that a 1-2 flyer for 2 is not subpar, but I think it is. Like I said, I'd rather get a ramp effect plus draw card than have a 1-2 flyer. We'll cut a Demon's Grasp, I think. I think it's the weakest card, probably. I think Cutthroat actually could be good in this deck, especially with the Sky Spawners. Anything else? I don't think so. So let's sort by color. And we do actually have a Blight of Cataract to get some card advantage, so that's good. I don't think I'm going to play the Mortuary Mire. I could. Yeah, I mean, it's not very good, but we have some good, like, actual creatures I might want to return. Possibly. Definitely playing the Cascade. Like, if one of our bomb creatures dies, I probably want to bring it back, right? I think we're going to try the Mire. Again. I keep giving this card a chance. Maybe I shouldn't, but we have some good guys that I want to bring back. Like, even bring back a processor if I can process would be pretty useful. And you don't have to use it, but then it's just an enter tap land. But I feel like if I'm running 18 lands, I should be able to get away with that. Maybe not. I'm trying to think which creature I'd want to bring back the most. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to do it regardless. Um, so it looks like an okay deck. Not insane. Um, let's sort by color. More black than blue. And we already have one of each in a Blighted Cataract, so probably as even as possible, erring towards black. Yeah. Nine black, eight uh, blue. 
Seems fine. All right. Well, I think this is the deck. Not insane, but we have some finishers. We've got some rares. We're trying out. Curves a little bit higher than I'm comfortable with, but we've we've got some things we're doing early, and I think anticipate should should be good in this build. So, all right, this is the deck. We'll try it out. We'll see you round one.